there's a very, very large number of people, so-called experts, um, people who have their own YouTube channels, their own websites, so-called analysts who say Waymo is way ahead of Tesla when it comes to full self-driving, automated taxis. But the evidence doesn't really back that up. And yes, whilst it's true that there's less interventions with Waymo vehicles in robo-taxi scenarios, there has been some pretty weird things happen, especially this one that just happened a few hours ago. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Waymo. Well, they obviously run their own robo-taxis in San Francisco. There's been a few issues with those. There's been a few weird things have happened. I haven't reported on some of them. Some of them I have reported on, but most of them I haven't. There's been quite a few um, strange incidents. One where they blocked an intersection, all turned up together and had a party in a street. But anyway, a power outage across San Francisco over the weekend forced numerous Waymo self-driving taxis to stop at darkened intersections and cause traffic blockages in multiple locations across the city. Now, guys, I thought Waymo's had LiDAR. And according to millions of experts on Facebook who believe they know everything, um, LiDAR solves this problem. doesn't matter if uh, an intersection is dark. Um, they'll fix it. They'll work it out how to do. Here's the thing. That's not really accurate. This disruption left riders stranded, frustrated, drivers blocked, and city officials stepping in as the Alphabet-owned company temporarily suspended service amid the widespread gridlock. Needless to say, says Teserati, it would likely have been a doomsday scenario for Tesla had full self-driving behaved in a similar way, especially if fleets of its robo-taxis blocked traffic for hundreds and hundreds of drivers. So it's a pretty good point, guys. I mean, let's be honest. If this was Tesla, this would be front-page news. People would be saying how terrible Tesla's full self-driving was. So this is kind of relevant. When there are issues with Waymo vehicles, it's reported on a lot less than Tesla full self-driving issues. I think it is anyway. The outage knocked out electricity for tens of thousands of customers leaving traffic signals dark across large parts of the city, says the New York Times. So what happened was the traffic lights went dark and then the Waymo vehicles just didn't know what to do. They were just simply completely paralyzed. Waymo vehicles began stopping at intersections and remained stationary for a long time because they didn't, well, they were basically paralyzed, didn't know what to do. Tow truck operators worked through the night removing immobilized vehicles, while videos circulated online showing Waymos with hazard lights flashing as traffic backed up around them. So clearly, um, Google or Alphabet, whoever, what you know, Waymo, the division of Google, they didn't plan for this scenario. And I find that pretty strange that they wouldn't. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so. And I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Uh, well, they say they boast all the time about how they're the best in the world and they're way better than Tesla, but they have nothing as in no way of dealing with a situation when the traffic light isn't working. This happens a fair bit. I mean, it depends on what city you're in, but it's happened to me, I'd say probably in my life, 50 times. So I find it weird that Google, or that, sorry, I should say Waymo, hasn't actually built into their systems a way for the vehicles to figure out how to continue driving. Waymo confirmed it had paused its Bay Area ride-hailing service after the San Francisco mayor's office contacted the company about the congestion its vehicles were creating. So the mayor had to contact Waymo. Why would the mayor have to do this? Surely Waymo would have known what's going on with their vehicles, right? Apparently they didn't. The mayor had to tell them. Service began coming back online shortly after 3.30 p.m. local time. Um, some, some users still said they were unable to request rides. There was no injuries, there's no damage, but um, I think it does to some degree disprove the claims being made by a lot of people worldwide that Waymo has solved it. Full self-driving, Waymo, they're doing it. Thousands of rides. According to Electric, Waymo are the gold standard. If this is the gold standard, then come on, it's ridiculous. The incident surprised industry observers since autonomous vehicles are designed to function during signal outages and temporary connectivity losses. Waymo stated that its vehicles treat non-functional signals as four-way stops 
but the sheer scale of the outage led to instances where vehicles remained stationary longer than usual to confirm the state of the affected intersections. I'm not buying that story, but they continued saying this, this contributed to traffic friction during the height of the congestion. Experts said the problem may have been linked to the vehicle's reliance on remote assistance teams, which help resolve complex situations the cars cannot handle independently. I actually think that these cars just can't really think for themselves. They're, they're just sort of programmed with all this information, which is useful in 99.8% of the time. Okay. In 99.8% of occasions, but in this situation, they just don't have the, the processing power, the neural network, whatever it is, to, to figure this out. Yesterday's power outage was a widespread event that caused gridlock across San Francisco with non-functioning traffic signals and tra transit disruptions. While the failure of the utility infrastructure was significant, we are committed to ensuring our technology adjusts to traffic flow during such events. The way my spokesperson said, adding that it is focused on rapidly integrating the lessons learned from this event and is committed to earning and maintaining the trust, blah, 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 blah. Guys, it's been years. These things have been in operation and they clearly weren't capable of figuring out what to do when a traffic light isn't working. Um, honestly, I'm a little surprised. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery, or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.